People in a post-apocalyptic society are valued by the number engraved on their bodies. The moment they reach zero, they will fall into a pit of darkness. Hina witnesses her mother being dragged into the abyss, but only after she receives a glass orb containing 10,000 inside and tells her to find the legendary ace with the white star. After searching for five years, Hina meets Licht, a masked perverted idiot, and Nana, the boss, who explains that everyone must follow orders from anyone with a higher number. According to Hina, her number, 441, represents the 44,100 kilometers she has walked. A sergeant major with a star on his face claims to be the ace when she meets him. He attempts to molest her until she reveals the 10,000 orb, which he mistakenly interprets as a ballot and attempts to steal. Hina orders him to stop, as she has a higher number. As the legend of the ace is 300 years old, he reveals he is not the ace, as the ace has long since passed away. After severely defeating her, he takes 440 from her, leaving her with only one as a number. Licht arrives unexpectedly and bets his own number, negative 999. The sergeant realizes that such a number is impossible, unless Licht is a ballot holder with a numbered ballot to artificially raise his number. The sword of Licht Bach clearly shows that he is the mythical legendary ace. The blade bears a white star and the number 5700, the number of foes Licht has defeated. The Waste War was a conflict that raged several centuries ago. The Aces were a group of warriors who showed extraordinary strength, but disappeared when the war ended. Lick's super speed enables him to easily defeat the soldiers, demonstrating that his footsteps are powerful enough to shatter the ground. Nana explains that while 5,700 represents the number of his defeated foes, minus 999 represents the number of women who have rejected him. Lick defeats the sergeant with ease, reducing his number to one and giving Hina hers back, plus some. He steals Hina's 10,000 ballots and gives her a stuffed doll in return. It is a devastating loss for her to lose the memento of her mother. Nana reveals later that Licht hid the ballot in the doll and pretended to steal it in front of witnesses, since ballots are illegal, so the soldiers will only search for him and leave Hina alone. She tries tearfully to prevent Licht from leaving, but when he ignores her, she yells that she hates him, escalating their tension. The score went from minus 999 to minus 1000. Hina is ignored, and the army searches for Licht, believing that he possesses the ballot. Master Sergeant Lin Mei and her subordinate, Sergeant Pele Paporo, are stationed in a tranquil village, where Lin spends her time volunteering and increasing her count based on the number of needy people she assists. After receiving a description of Licht, Lin apprehends a nearby masked man who, coincidentally, is Licht. Nevertheless, he maintains his anonymity by revealing his negative 1000 and weeping over the women he has rejected. Pele's awful advice makes Lin try to help Licht feel better by setting them up on a pity date. Lick's groping behavior, however, causes Lin's count to rise, since the groping helps him feel better. Then takes the mask off Licht which reveals he is the man on the poster. Then she starts kicking Licht, but he easily dodges her moves and flees. Later, Hina is talking to Nana, telling her she wants to go looking for Licht. All of a sudden, a man appears. Known as Jail Murdoch, he is a lieutenant of the Royal Guards in Alsia. Nana was told to tell him where Licht is, or else they would be arrested. He was told he had gone east, and so the troops began their search for the legendary ace. Immediately after Licht is found, the lieutenant tries to apprehend him, but he breaks free and starts fighting all the guards. By using his abilities, Licht easily wins the fight. As soon as the lieutenant tells his men to stand down, he then proceeds to ask Lin for an explanation of what a ballot holder is and why his arrest is necessary. She then explains that a ballot is a ball with an illegal count, and that the person holding it has special powers. As an example, the lieutenant is a ballot holder who can manipulate iron. He can create items made of iron to use during combat. He can create iron spikes and structures to use for his advantage. As the ballot strength depends on the current count on your body, Lick tells Jail he only has 900, and his count is at 5,700. It probably wouldn't be too wise to fight him, but Jail doesn't care and starts attacking him with his iron powers. Lick uses his super speed to confuse Jail, and attempts to escape, but Jail teleports into the sky and sends a giant iron tower at him. Having knocked down Lick Jail, he removes the fake count on his hand, revealing that his true number is actually 12,500. A massive battle occurs between Lick and the lieutenant, and both of them are extremely powerful. Jail takes this opportunity to show his true powers, but after their massive duel Lick eventually escapes. A little later, Licht is walking along the meadows in a bird mask and is greeted by a woman named Hina who claims she has been searching everywhere for him. While they were chatting on the field, a bird-shaped object flies past and they notice it was a girl flying the bird. 
Licht uses his flying ability to rescue her just in time as she was about to crash into the cliffs. This is a dream come true for the girl, who has wanted to fly her whole life. Upon asking Licht about his ability to fly, he replied that he was unable to do so. Licht simply jumps higher than most people. She tells Licht and Hina that her name is Pelmo, and that her entire life is dedicated to finding a way to fly. Licht informs Pelmo of the Alcyon law that states you may not try flying in Elsia, but Pelmo tells Licht that she doesn't care about the laws and wants to pursue her dream nonetheless. Her dream is more important to her than anything else. When she completes the final design of her next flying machine, she asks Licht and Hina if they'd like to take it for a test flight, but just at that moment, guards approach them. Licht broke the machine quickly to prevent them from spotting it and saving Pelmo. Pelmo tells Licht and Hina that she can't build another flying machine after the guards have left, and so her count drops from 1 to 0, and she is taken into the abyss. While getting dragged into the abyss she explained that her count is based on her dream coming true but since she's failed to fly once again she reached 0. Both try to save her, but the hands stop them, so Licht cuts the hands, but it only damages himself, and she is still dragged into the abyss. After a while, Licht and Hina are walking around town markets and there they meet Lin. She approaches Licht and thanks him for saving her, when she fell off the mountain, but right after she tries to arrest him Licht attempts to escape, but soon came the lieutenant and they begin to fight in the streets. Their discussion is soon interrupted by Nana who tells them that they cannot fight in the town because if they do, the whole city will be destroyed. Following the battle, the lieutenant was notified that a town was under attack, so he visited the area and found it destroyed. According to a survivor, the town's lake has turned into a swirling pit of darkness. There was a demon rising from the lake that began attacking the city. An unexpected noise suddenly resounds from the hole, and everyone gets ready to fight the demon, but it turns out that they were really fighting a modern military helicopter, something they'd never seen before. They are all trying to understand what this helicopter is and how to stop it, since it's a vehicle from far in the future. Everyone in the town is told to run by Lick, while Rick protects them with his iron barrier. After attacking the helicopter, Lick learned to his surprise that the hands of the abyss started sprouting from the ground to aid him. All of them seem to be aiming at Lick because they now see him as a threat due to the fact that he sliced those hands earlier in an effort to save Palmol. The hands now realize that the chopper is also a real threat and work hard to destroy it. However, they cannot reach it, and when Lick tries to approach it, he is blocked. He refuses to help Hina because attacking the hands of the abyss is a rule violation, and if he was found guilty he would be sent to the abyss immediately. Licht appears to be having a hard time going against the helicopter. So the lieutenant finally gives in and helps him. However, once the chopper has been defeated, a girl named Sanahara appeared from the abyss and she referred to Licht as her commander. Lieutenant Jail asks Sanahara who she is, but she instantly shoots him, leaving him in bad shape. Hina is shocked and asks who she is and she tells everyone that she's another one of the legendary aces and a long time ago Licht was her commander who ordered her to kill people. Therefore, she still follows his orders to this day, but Lick tries to stop her from doing so. But she tells Lick that she has a power where she can control the bullets, moving them in any direction she wants. They take him by surprise and Lick falls to the ground. Lick is laying on the ground when Sanahara's soldiers show up and take them all hostage. Eventually, Lick gets back up and Sanahara implores Lick to return to his true form, but he refuses and says that everyone should leave. Lick kills all the guards in a blink of an eye, before he eliminates them all, revealing to everyone that he is the plunderer, and saving all his friends. Upon seeing the legendary ace, Sanahara becomes excited and they bet on their stars in a star stake. Sanahara's count is at 32,000 while Lick's is only 5,700, making her the stronger opponent. Pele on the other hand knows about the legends of aces and their true power and says that Lick is actually hiding his power. Here, we see Lick transform into the legendary ace, a soulless demon who is only interested in eliminating all his enemies. His sword count is now 57,000 as Licht easily defeats Sanahara in the duel just before he puts her down with his final strike, the lieutenant is able to save her. Currently, Licht appears to have lost all sanity, believing that everyone around him is his enemy. Using all his might, he strikes out at Lieutenant Jail, but the lieutenant unexpectedly unleashes his full maximum strength through his iron ability. He then creates an iron demon monster that he can control when he is in legendary ace form to fight Licht. Jail manages to knock Licht out unconscious and when he wakes up he's now back to his normal self and tells everyone he's sorry for what he'd done to them. In the aftermath of the fight with Licht, Jail visits Alexandra, the head of all guards in Elsia and the father of the jail. However, they are not related by blood, as he was adopted by Alexandra when he was young. 
the Supreme Commander begins by asking Jail some questions about Licht and the way that he was able to change the count on his sword, and then Jails inform the Supreme Commander that aces can change their count by themselves. It is their nature to do so. A 300-year-old experiment took place in the Waste War in which the soldiers were all synchronized with the ballots through surgery. According to him, they are a squad of unstoppable beings, led by Licht Bach, who is a threat to everyone, including his soldiers. He then confronts Licht about it, trying to arrest him after hearing what the Supreme Commander just said. In response, Nana told Jail not to listen to the Commander as Licht isn't the real threat, and how they got this far by believing in Licht. Next, she reveals that she is a legendary ace and sends everyone into the past 300 years to see what really happened. During their teleport, she tells them to try to change what happened so he can save his men. Upon entering a world from 300 years ago, everything seems completely different. And they are standing outside a school where they see Sanahara, and we also sell it but Sanahara calls him by his real name which is actually Rahito Sakai. In addition, he no longer has his white hair, and he is younger as well, but none of them are sure whether he was really licked. Upon entering the high school, Jail is blown away by how much more advanced the technology here is than in Alsia. Despite living 300 years in the past, they all come to realize that the past world was actually a very modern one, with electricity and running water. They then enter the school halls and Hina gets pushed by a student named Duan to Katora, Lin tries to help her but also gets hit by Duan. When Jail confronts him, he realizes he no longer has the ballot and all his powers are gone. Sanahara tries to convince Duan to stop fighting, but he refuses. Duan is told to leave them alone by another student. He is Sakai to Kakagi, who is Rahito's brother. Furthermore, they confirm that Rahito Sakai is in fact licked since he is still attracted to Hina just like he was in the other world. Suddenly one of the instructors at the school, Mr. Allen, tells them they are now all soldiers involved in a war. Next, a student named Ferenda explains to the class how their whole nation is in danger because of a major food shortage. Thousands are dying as a result. Immediately following that, the Supreme Director named Box Schumerman reads a poem to test the student's ability to follow orders. As he reads the poetry, a few of the students started laughing. Despite his warning, students continued to laugh. As a result, the director walked over and shot those still laughing. Other students attempt to leave the hall as they get scared. But then Bach explains that this was a necessary training exercise to see who can follow orders in serious times. After Bach tells Rahito to break his neck or he will eliminate Hina. Once again, he is only doing this as a test to see how far they can go. However, Rahito tells him that he will not do it, so everyone from the future knows it was licked as he would have said the same. After the director uses his power to sell its intent to kill, but the test doesn't affect him as Licht is still standing. He then informed them that it was all a test and the director had been using paintballs instead of bullets. After that, the three students got up. In essence, he uses these tests to build a team of the strongest students. Who he can use to eliminate all his enemies for him instead of doing it himself. So this is how the legendary aces were created. They began the ace project by surgically increasing the violent behaviors of rats. In the next moment, Bach pulls out a ballot filled with alien technology that came from outer space. This can be used to enhance all abilities and change the laws of physics so no other man will be able to achieve these feats. Therefore, Bach orders Ferenda to give the ballot to the rat, and we see that he has gone completely insane. Has incredible strength, and is as fast as light. Jail watches the experimentation and gets caught. But luckily a young Nana saves him. Later, he learns that the Nana from the future wanted him to prevent Lick's surgery being performed. The directors would be prevented from creating the legendary aces. In addition, she tells him she's the first legendary ace and her ability is time travel, so she's able to talk with her older self from Alsia. He leaves the room shortly after talking with Nana, and a director named Alexandrov tells him he knows he's not from their world. In response, Jail says he is the lieutenant from the future from Alsia, and he was the one who trained him into the position. Afterwards, we see that the same experiments are being conducted on Licht and the Major Bach himself, as he wanted to become one of the legendary aces, since there were seven in total. Having woken up from the surgery, Licht has white hair and red eyes just like before, but the Major hasn't recovered well from it. Prior to his death, he gives Licht his special sword, which is an actual ballot, but in the form of a sword. Through this sword, he can boost his powers at any time. Outside, the students are under threat from soldiers. Fortunately, Licht came to the rescue just in time. We learn that he has all kinds of abilities and powers not seen anywhere else. They're then transported back to 300 years in the future and Hina realizes that they can't change Lick's fate. As he was always destined to be the legendary ace. 
She starts to cry and tells him to try and hold on to this moment for 300 years until they meet again. And then they fade back into their world while she's screaming out to Licht and begs him to remember her. They have been using Licht for 300 years as their own lethal weapon and he has taken out several armies and many enemy troops all over the world. However, Licht still knows what they've done to him, so he tries going against the others. After that, he ends up fighting another legendary ace, who happens to be Dwan from high school. Licht is in his eyes a traitor due to his attempt to change his ways and go against them. Therefore, they engage in battle and both show their best abilities. Nevertheless, Dwan is helped by Sanahara, and Nana tells Dwan that there is no sense in fighting Licht as he's not the one in the wrong. However, he refused to listen and used his final combo attack to harm Licht. But Licht defeats Dwan and saves Hina and his friends. We then see Hina and look back in the future together. And the story ends here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get notified. Click on this video to see how a powerful boy, becomes friends with two beautiful monster girls. I will see you in the next episode.